just in general to hear that? Well, I, mean, I think it's, uh, I think we've had a lot of signs um, internally that you know, people want to support our program and they're excited about what's going on here. So, um, you know, I think that that notion is, you know, we're not surprised of. Um, you know, we very much believe in uh, the Boulevard concept, uh, not only for what it can do for our student athletes, but also uh, making sure that we stay within the rules and having people that have been in this business and are experts in this field is very, very important to us. So, um, listen, this is new for all of us. You know, we're all, it's still evolving all kinds of places all over the country, and I'm confident that we will, uh, you know, be able to kind of bring everyone together and make sure it's one united effort. Can you talk about what you've seen from uh, Damani Jackson? Oh, he's done a good job. He has. It's good to have him, obviously, back healthy. You know, disappointed he wasn't able to do a lot this spring, but he had a really good summer. Uh, got his body in shape, and you uh, you see, you, you really see some flashes. You know, you see some of the physical traits that he has, the speed, and he's also, a, you know, very, very strong for a player uh, at his position and his age. And I think each day there's more and more plays where he's able to turn it loose and use those physical abilities. So each day he's thinking less, understanding it more. Um, you know, he's been a good competitor. He certainly has a bright future. What clearly have you got on that position in battle there at quarterback? Uh, well, we were a lot deeper there than we were in the spring. Um, it's, uh, it's a good battle. I mean, I think we have a number of guys there that are going to play meaningful snaps for us. I mean, I, I would say Blackman has certainly continued to impress. Uh, he's had a really strong start to camp. Um, Damani, I think, is doing a Damani, like I said, is doing a nice job. Sierra Wright's really had a I've been really impressed with with Sierra. Um, you know, Josh, it's been good to get Josh back, obviously, off of uh, um, off of his injury and have him full go. Uh, so it's been it's a good group. It's a good group. They battle. Uh, um, you know, I think we're, we've got several deep there that can play. Uh, Jacoby Cuffton, certainly another one I need to mention. That's, that's had a um, had a had a good start to camp, and you can see getting better, and more comfortable by the day. So. Yeah, our numbers have been good. Our depth's been good. The competitive depth's been good. Um, yeah, and I think their guys. I think we'll have a number of contributors here. We'll be looking at this point in December, January, and say a lot of those guys helped this team. We talked Sting? to here on Wednesday about balancing acting and football. It's probably pretty unique for you in your career. How do you seen him manage that? It, it. I mean, the fact that it's acting, yes, um, but. We've also had guys that have had other interests or other things going on in their lives. Um, like I compare it to, you know, having a guy play baseball and, and you know and, and football like we did with Kyler and some of the other guys. Um, I, to me, is even more of a challenge. You know, at least you know what he's doing is not physically demanding, so it's finding the time on the schedule. And, and I'll give the kid credit; he's clearly done a good job because he's a he's a much better player right now than he was in the spring. So he made some some nice improvements throughout the summer. The and I hear he's a pretty good actor, too. So. <laughs> Staying on the defensive side of the ball in depth, notice that the uh, rush end position is a little thin today. That's going to affect your practice? Uh, we just kind of battled through. It's, you know, every, you know, every, uh, every misstep like that or every time a guy has to miss some time, it's, it's good for us because, you know, you, you, you have to work different people in different ways. You know, that can obviously happen in the season at any point. So it's, uh, it's put us in a position where we've moved other players. Um, around on the defensive line. They've had to play other positions, and I think our guys have stepped up and done it well. So now we, fortunately, we, we've had enough depth inside that we haven't had to. We've moved a lot of people around, working guys all over the front, and the front's continue to be very active in our practices. And after, one week, I'm sorry, after one week, what's your assessment of the defense? Uh, defense has done a good job. I mean, no question. I mean, they've been, uh, you know, they're, you see the, I mean, we had major, major depth issues there in the spring. I mean, obviously, um, that that is a lot different. Right now. I mean, no question. I mean, a lot of we brought in a lot of players, and we had a lot of guys also, obviously, that weren't practicing. You know, that are practicing now. So the talent level is up, the understanding of it's up, and you know, defense has, has played very well in this camp. I mean, they've certainly over the last several days have been the uh, have been the dominant group without a doubt. Solomon Bird, what's, what's he kind of showing you now that you've been able to see him? Yeah, he's done good. He's a, he's a really good athlete. Uh, he's you can tell he's played ball. He's picked up our schemes very quickly. Uh, a guy can naturally rush the passer. Um, and he's been able to move around and play some different positions uh, for us as well. So um, he did a good job getting his body into shape. We thought he came in the summer a little bit out of shape, and that's really changed. And uh, so, yeah, no, I mean, you're adding a pass rusher, you're adding a guy that has experience at this level. Um, he's been a great team member up to this point. So 
you know, another one of the additions that we couldn't be happy with. And now you said that Corey missed practice on Monday was a, was a physical, uh, a prior commitment. Is it anything physical that's given him that now? Uh, recently he has, yeah. Nothing nothing too severe. We expect him back in the next few days. Is there any concern about, you know, him missing a week of practice for his development? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's but that's anybody out here. You know what I mean? Whether guys played... You know, played a thousand snaps or played 15 snaps. I mean, you gotta you gotta keep getting better and uh, you gotta keep improving. So, is it a concern for you know for Corey missing that? Sure, but I want to make a point. It's not because it's Corey. It's just because it's a football player in the USC football team. And um, so, uh, we should be getting him back quickly. Look forward to it. He's been developing and been on a great track. We'll be excited to get that result. We've really seen. Good. I think stand out for the first couple of days in full pads. Say it again, sorry. Uh, well, first couple of days in full pads, I think kind of stand out to you. Yeah, physicality's gone back and forth. Um, 